It was about one o'clock in the morning. I was asleep in my bed on duty at the fire station. He had just dispatched a volunteer fire service to my home. So my wife, she was asleep in the master bedroom downstairs. And luckily that night, all the kids had actually gone into her room and fallen asleep on the floor watching TV that night. So when I got to the fire and, and saw my wife standing in the front yard speaking to one of the other firemen, it was, it was just a huge weight taken off of my shoulders. I knew that I hadn't just heard she was safe, I knew she was safe. The fire started in a staircase, the only stairway that went up to the kids' bedroom. So when the first arriving engines got there, they weren't sure whether or not somebody was still in the home, so they made an immediate run in and, and, and the staircase was, was inaccessible. The temperature was so hot on the staircase that their thermal imaging cameras had pegged out at over 600 degrees. There's no way the kids could have ever made it out. My wife, getting the children out of a window that night, saved my whole family. She would not have left that house without those children. I would have lost my whole family that night. A fire sprinkler system would have easily contained or controlled the fire, or maybe even extinguished the fire if it had been one installed in my home. That was why then, when we built our new home, it was without question that there would be a fire sprinkler system built into it, no matter what the cost. It was a great pleasant surprise to find out that the cost of the system was actually less than the cost of the landscaping that I put on my new house. So it's a win-win situation. And for that small amount of money, I now know from now into the future, anytime their kids are in my home, they're protected, no matter whether I'm there or not. A lot of people believe that the type of sprinklers that go into the residential are the same that are in the commercial that they're familiar with. You don't have the big gaudy looking appliances hanging from your ceiling all over. As a matter of fact, if I didn't tell you I had a fire sprinkler system in my house, you probably would never even notice. I'm the last person I thought this would ever happen to. I had a newer home built under new building codes in a nice neighborhood that was meticulously maintained. It was looked at by myself, a professional firefighter, every week for to be inspected. My family knew what to do in case there was a fire in the house and how to prevent one, and it still burned down. I'm living proof that it can happen to anyone.